Hey, we're checking out Spigot's booth, and I ran into, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to butcher your name, so I'm going to make you say it. K. Hobbits. Who has actually one of the developers, or the developer for Essentials? I'm the lead developer of Essentials. Awesome. And we use Essentials on the pub server, and we use Spigot on the pub server, so we're going to grill him and make sure he knows all the features we want that we don't have. But actually, we're not really going to do that. We're just going to ask you, what's so cool about Essentials, and what's so cool about Spigot? Okay. Spigot is a server fork of a craft bucket, which is designed for high performance. So for example, when you uh, set up a server and you're kind of trying to get the most out of your box, you want some extra player slots, you, you want to reduce the lag, then you can drop Spigot in as just a straightforward replacement, and you can turn down the different features that just eat up all the CPU in a server, allowing you to just get those extra player slots, get, that, get rid of that lag, and just make it a lot, lot better performance. So if you're running a bucket server now and you're like right at that edge where you can't really support anything more, you drop in Spigot and you'll get lots more resources and all of a sudden you can support more players. Yeah, well, one of our tr trademark servers is uh, EcoCityCraft and they are a sponsor for the project, but they can run about 250 slots on Craft Bucket. But with uh, Spigot, then you can kind of put that all the way up to about 450. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, uh, we're running Spigot on the server right now and due to plug-in load, we're not running quite that many users. But, uh, but no, it, it does a great job, and it's a huge difference from, uh, from what Craft Bucket was. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the real functionality of that is that you can turn down and tweak these settings that Craft doesn't make available. So if, you don't, so if you don't want to have mobs spawning everywhere, you turn those down, and there you've got an extra 50 player slots. So, I mean, you can kind of make all the customization you'd need. Yeah, it's really amazing. So that's Spigot, and Spigot's cool. So if you're running a server and you want a little bit more space, you're running something more than just a little small home server, you know, like five, ten people. Check out Spigot, it's worth it. Uh, but what, why don't you tell us a little bit about Essentials? Because Essentials is cool and it's the ultimate plugin pack if you're running a Minecraft server. Well, Essentials was designed to be the plugin that you'd stick in right at the very beginning. It was the very core Essentials that any server just needed to get, a, get going with. I mean, it's designed that you can put it in there and then if you want extra features, you can put extra plugins in. But I wanted to cover all the basics that you just needed to get started with. So it has the warps, the homes, teleport extensions, pretty much everything that a player wants, but also covering admin side of things. So you can kind of do proper easy item spawning and set up kits for players to use and all the different stuff that service admins need to run a server. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great plugin package. I love it. It's, it is one of the first ones I install whenever I'm setting up a, a server. And it's, it's, so, it's so helpful. I don't... We couldn't, I couldn't manage and run the server without Essentials on the server. That's nice to hear. Yeah. So, I, I thank a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, for the interview and, and thanks for the major awesome plugin. Thank you very much. Thank you.